uh, from the Yves Krapp from Germany. And if you have been following our one-liner, he is no stranger to the uh, our you know one-liner competition. And I expect you know no less than this one. This was pretty fun example. I didn't evaluate it because it was fun. So I will just see. And there's a couple of things I want to mention about it. So first, I mean, obviously, gotta do something with the cow, which says it here. Can't tell what where the cow's gone. And I rotated it, and you all of a sudden realized that there's a, yeah, some hint of a cow over there. And here. <laughs> and if you move, move around the slider, OK. And look at what happened to this poor cow. It's kind of, you know, flipping around. <laughs> it go back to the cow. So it's clever usage of the uh, transformation, you know, which is, uh, I, will, I will show it again. So this is uh, your cow. And then it flips and go back to the spear, you know. So how he did it. I mean, it's pretty interesting usage of a couple of functionality here. So first of all, the uh, transformation is, uh, itself is very straightforward and fun. So essentially, this is the piece of transformation you will see. If you're not familiar with mathematics, pure function it might be a little bit complex to understand. But let, let me just say x, uh, the hash is the, uh, your point. And you're transforming that into 1 over square root of a hash in a product of a hash, essentially making it as a norm. And she saves actually two characters. Actually, not, you know what? It's four characters just doing this. So it's, uh, what it, it does is from original point, it moves it to the uh, point in the sphere. Right, and then it's a linear transformation between those two, right? So you get to it you know, one point to the hash and the uh, one minus that, you know, to the uh, one one over that, so that it will get from that to that in in linear transformation way. Now, there's a couple of interesting thing the uh, tactic to save more characters out of it, and amazingly, it's 131, and you have a nine more character room to go. The first line, this is a uh, pro tip, you know, pro trick. You know, I, I've ever seen this in a lot of cases. It, this is how you do it. So instead of assigning, you know, multi variables with a uh, multi lines, like you know, you could easily do a equals one, you know, b equals two, c equals three. Now, you can save multiple characters in here, like you know, insert, let's say, a uh, table, new table. Let me make a uh, Table of five rows and one columns. Now you get this equals this. Now you see what I'm trying to do, right? A, B, C, D, E, one, two, three, four, and five. As you can see, now A, B, C, D, E. You essentially assign whole this chunk of the variables in one shot, you know. And in fact, you're saving a lot of characters by doing so, you know. And it applies to the, any other listable operations too. So it's a pretty neat trick to do it. Another trick he used here is, you know, the replacement. This is, I mean, if you see this line, it might be very, you know, it's kind of hard to understand what's going on. But I will dissect it using simple, simpler code. So what's happening here is, you know, you have a list of one to three. Let's say I want to replace one to some character. I mean, one to some rules. That's one thing. Now, obviously, what I would do is like this because I'm, you know, it's not one liner, and I'm, I would more, you know, aiming for the readability. Now, it's precedence. You know, the uh, mathematical has an order which one it follows first. You can just do this, and what's ha essentially happening is this. You know, oh, what did I do wrong here? Oh, sorry. Because I assigned the variable already. Let me clear. Okay, so and let me replace this with this. As you can see, A is being replaced by this rule, and you can see that you know you don't have to use the brackets or anything because of the precedence, the order, mathematical taking care of the business, it automatically taken into that account, and then you can continue on replacement. That's another need, one thing about the replacement. So you can do something like this, and it, you can continue on. And that's what exactly he did. And he saves a lot of characters by just following these orders. So that, that's a, one of the good tricks to do. And the example is separate, just fun. So Can you play it one more time? Sure.
that's a that's a fun one. Whenever you can use cow within the uh, math, math within the uh, Mathematica code, and uh, hopefully uh, the users, you know, you can download that. You can play around with that some more and see what else you can come up with.